In this video, we're going to learn how to reverse vectors, strings, and data frames in R. So to reverse a vector, it's very simple. There's a built-in function rev that will reverse vectors. We're just going to store a two-length vector and use rev on it, and you'll see that it has been reversed. Now, there is not a good built-in function for reversing strings, so Probably the easiest way to do a string reverse without having to write some custom function yourself is just load in the string i library. And that contains a string reverse function. It's called stir i reverse. So I'll run that on this character string reverse me and that will reverse all the characters of the string. Now we can also reverse the data that's contained in a data frame both by the columns and by the rows. To do this, you actually just need to use the proper indexing. So if you want to reverse data by the columns, you just need to select each column, but instead of selecting by the normal order of the column names, you select the reversed order. So here we're going to use the empty cars data set, and to reverse the columns, we're not passing anything to the rows because we're not reversing the rows, but to the column index position, we're going to pass the reversed order of the names, and that will allow us to select data in that reversed order. So we'll run that. And you can see the original columns were in this order with MPG first and carb last. And after running the reverse, we got carb first and MPG last. Now you can essentially do the same type of operation to reverse the rows in a data frame. You just have to select all the rows, but by the reverse of the number of rows. So to reverse the data by the rows, we're going to again index into the data. We're not going to pass anything into columns because we're not dealing with the column position. So we're just going to select all the rows from one to the length of the data, so n row of the data. But instead of selecting them in that order, we're going to select them in the reverse of that order and that will essentially reverse the entire data frame by row so we'll run this and check that the end of the data frame the tail these were the last few entries the volvo being the last one and you can see after we've reversed the data frame and we're checking the head which is the start of it that volvo is now the very first entry and it's descending from there we can see that we did successfully reverse by rows that's a quick overview of how to reverse a few different types of data in r all the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.